to the highest style of tube and throw singing. This is called sagat. The name sagat comes from the Tuvan word sagar, meaning to whistle. But this is not a whistle in the way that you and I are familiar with. Uh, and, and the reason I just said that last style, you want to be able to do that first, because this next style, there's a whole lot of ways to do this uh, wrong. Okay, and there's a lot of fake ways that kind of sound like it. But if you're not doing what Aldar just did, if you can't do that properly, you can't get that, this style. So make sure you remember that. Because what's going to happen is Aldar takes uh, the style that we started with, with the fish jumping in and out of the river, and uh, he's going to turn the volume way down on that lower note called the fundamental, and he's going to amplify and purify that higher note, which is called the overtone. And that creates this beautiful laser beam of sound. So this is the sublet style. To the festival, so his throat's getting a little bit tired. But uh, we just got one more way, to, one more day to go, man. Um, now we're going to show you the third style. That was the top style. Remember, we said middle, top, and bottom. Now we're going to share with you the third style, which is this is the low style, the bottom style. And Tuvan, we call the name, we call this style kargara. And uh, what's going to happen is when you sing this style, what you need to learn how to do, and this makes the basic technique a little bit different than the first two styles. And, and when we do kind of spend a couple minutes making you groan, uh, this is the, the second technique that you're going to try. Because what you're trying to do is you activate your false vocal folds. What the false vocal folds are, are they're little flaps of muscle that sit right on top of your voice box, or what's called your vocal folds. And they're called the false vocal folds or the ventricular folds. And normally they don't ever make noise. You don't normally constant, or, uh, consciously use them to make sound. But in the Karkara style, you get these false vocal folds. You do just the right amount of squeeze. It sounds like it hurts, but it really doesn't. You just need to have the right finesse of tension. And when you do that, they kick in, and you get this really low sort of Harley Davidson sound. And this is very impressive, but what I'd like you to also listen for is at the same time as you have this deep bass sound going, uh, you can watch Aldar changing the shape of his mouth, the vowel sound that he's, he's articulating, and that changes the note, makes it go up and down, and turns it into a melody. And uh, the way this was explained to me uh, 10 years ago in Tuva, I was living out in the taiga, I was herding yaks with my teacher, and he said to me, this is like mountains. When you look at the mountains, the base is all connected, but the peaks go up and down, and they make a contour against the sky. And when you sing in this style, this is like a way of painting a picture uh, of landscape with your voice, because those peaks are just like those upper notes that are set against the background of the low note. So listen and see if you can pick out the juxtaposition between the very low note and the high note melody that's creating the contour or the landscape in this lowest style called Kargara.
Okay, so now 